welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss pressure enthalpy diagrams. And by the end of the video, you should be able to locate the subcooled or compressed liquid region, the superheated vapor region, the saturated liquid and vapor lines, and the critical point. Also, you should be able to identify the lines of constant pressure, enthalpy, temperature, entropy, volume, and quality. This is the pressure enthalpy diagram of Freon 124, and we thank the Chemours company for granting permission to use it. As you see, a diagram like this packs a lot of information in its many lines. Let's navigate them and discuss how to get useful data. The first observation is that the vertical axis represents the pressure, and the horizontal axis represents the enthalpy. An isobaric process, that is, a process that happens at constant pressure, is represented by a horizontal line. An isenthalpic process, a process that happens at constant enthalpy, is represented by a vertical line. Suppose that now you want to follow a process that happens at constant temperature, an isothermal process, at the temperature of 150 degrees Celsius. The first thing is to find out where the lines of constant temperature appear in this diagram. Always look for a hint. At the right-hand side of the diagram, there is a line that says temperature equal to 220 degrees Celsius. This indicates that lines that have similar shape will be lines of constant temperature. Now it's just a matter of moving to the left until we find the line of 150 degrees Celsius. Let's now follow the line of an isochoric process, that is, a process that happens at constant specific volume. On the upper right-hand side of the diagram, there is a hint volume equal to 0 0.003 cubic meter per kilogram, indicating that lines of similar shape will have constant specific volume. Let's follow the line of 0.1 cubic meter per kilogram. We now turn our attention to lines of constant entropy. At the lower right-hand side of the diagram, there is a line of entropy equal to 2.10 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Again, this indicates that lines of similar shape will be isentropic lines. Let's follow the isentropic line of 2 kJ per kilogram Kelvin. This diagram has an additional set of lines, which are the lines of constant quality. Before discussing them, let's observe there is a dome in this diagram. To the right of the dome, we have the superheated vapor region. To the left of the dome, we have the region of subcooled or compressed liquid. Inside the dome, we have systems with two phases, a vapor and a liquid phase. Separating the subcooled compressed liquid from the two-phase region, we have the saturated liquid line. Separating the superheated vapor region from the two-phase region, we have the saturated vapor line. As we move to high pressures, the saturated liquid line and the saturated vapor line come closer and closer together and they meet at the critical point of the pure substance. Now, looking inside the dome, we have lines of constant quality. Quality is the ratio of the mass in the vapor phase to the total mass in the system. In other words, it's the vaporized fraction. Next to the saturated liquid line, the quality has a small value, close to zero. Inside the two-phase region, next to the saturated vapor line, quality has a value close to 1. In summary, we have located the lines of constant pressure, enthalpy, temperature, entropy, volume, quality. We located the saturated liquid and saturated vapor lines and the critical point. And finally, we located the superheated vapor region and the region of subcooled or compressed liquid. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. And if you have any question or comment, please contact us at the Uthermo channel.